So this video is what I wish everybody knew about the Hayes CISD bond process. So what I wish everybody knew is, is this. So we start off the process, the school board starts off the process by appointing a committee. And the, when the committee is appointed, the committee um, gets something from the superintendent. They get a list of possible bond items, things that go on a bond uh, for the school board election. Now, they get this list and the administration puts it together, priorities that they found that are needs of the district and that are allowed to be um, on a bond by law. And so they send that to the committee and the committee looks at that. Now the committee is composed of citizens that the board has appointed. And hey, CISD, the only people that can vote are the people that we've appointed. The superintendent can put some people on there that are not uh, voting members, but are members of the administration. <coughs> Excuse me. So what happens is they look at all the needs and they review those needs and they say, okay, here we got questions. Do, is this really a need or is this not a need? Or is there something missing? We need to add something on there. And so they ask a lot of questions. They get more data. They work with experts that the district provides. They work with architects. They work with contractors. They work with bond council. They work with organizations that actually calculate how much bonds that we could actually uh, float without raising the tax rate. You know, they, they, we have to do that type of calculation. So they do all that, and then they rank the stuff. They say, okay, we're not going to do this. We're going to do this. Uh, and then they give us that list. They give the school board a list. And what does the school board do with that? Well, we take it, and we can accept it, or we can reject it, or we could modify it. But we're going to take that and we're going to go to a public uh, hear hearing or a series of public hearings. And when we do that, uh, it's an op another opportunity for the community to tell us what you think. Because while we were doing the bond committee process, we actually had something up on our website. So this year we had heyCISD.net slash bond2020. You could go there and see everything that the bond committee looked at. So any every presentation they got was up there. All, all the, a lot of the questions that they asked were provided um, in writing, and they're up there, and the answers are there, too. So you can see a lot of that information on the heyCISD.net slash bond2020 website. And then um, there was a little button on there that said bond talk also. So you could click on that bond talk button and send the committee some feedback. Well, you can still do that now. Now, uh, after the uh, when the public hearing start. We'll go out to the community and we'll have public hearings in different locations throughout the district. And then you can come to the public hearing. You can tell us what you think about what's on the bond. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, what do you think about it? Let You let us know. And then you can also tell us um, in, in person there. At, you know, you can give oral testimony. You can give written testimony in the past. I'm thinking we'll probably do it that way again. Uh, but in the past, some people don't want to get up and do public speaking, but you can hear the presentation that, that the administration gives about the bond as a public hearing, and then you could provide written comment if you'd like. At least we've done that in the, in the past, and I think we're going to do it again this time, I'm sure. So, you know, after the public hearings, the board has to decide, hey, are we going to have a bond or we're not going to have a bond? So the board can decide we're not going to do this, or the board can decide we are going to do this. So if we move forward and say we're going to have a bond we have to vote on that and we have to decide what's going to be on the bond and the different propositions that are going to be on the bond and we have to do it by a certain deadline so in this year it's february 14th 2020 we have to decide by that day if we're going and and have a vote and declare whether we're going to have a bond or not and if we are uh, then the bond election will be on the uniform election date which would be may the 2nd 2020 so that's kind of the pro that's pretty much the process, and a lot of people don't know how the process works. That's really what I want people to know, what the process is and how it works. There's a lot of details that I, I left out, obviously, because I'm giving you a very short overview of it. But that's the nuts and bolts of it. And so um, right now you can see what the, the bond committee is proposing to us at the heycisd.net slash bond2020 uh, website. So if you're listening to this video today, which is December the 13th, we, the bond committee is not presented to us at this point in time. 
so you can see what they're going to present to us at the December 16th meeting. Okay, peace.